I've been immersing myself in hacked messages from murder for hire sites on the dark web. Hundreds of customers had ordered hits on ordinary people across the world. I wondered what it was like to be marked for murder. And I found a case in North Carolina where the target had survived an attempt on his life. Police suspect it had been ordered by his ex-wife, Christy Felkins. My target is scum. I've sent just over 12 Bitcoin. I sure hope you can take care of this issue swiftly. Thank you for your help and time. Okay, we are all set. We will wait until he leaves the house and shoot him in his car. We won't stop until he's dead. Christy has been charged and is awaiting trial. To be able to meet somebody who has had a hit put out on them. I mean, I probably wouldn't have even answered the phone. Nice to, meet, to you. meet you. Lovely to meet you. How you Come doing? Come on in. Sorry, place is a mess. I'm uh, getting ready for Halloween stuff and doing some renovation. Gabe wasn't exactly what I was expecting. Finished renovating next door because we bought that place uh, oh, wow. a year and a half ago, completely gutted it and rebuilt it. I thought someone who has a hit out on them would be a paranoid mess. The mill, we make all the lumber. But he seemed to be living his best life. Just getting into mountain biking, not super good at it yet. You live a rich life, you know. I had a, a epiphany a few years ago that you've got to kind of live life. Finding out that someone had hired a hitman and realizing that that was there and it, that could happen makes you uh, just want to do more in life than work and enjoy life later, because later might not come. Gabe and Christy had been married for 12 years and had two kids. What was it like when you and Christy first got together? These are in high school. Oh, wow. So this was prom 2002, so that had to be 2001. Uh, so you really grew up together. We would go down to the local swimming holes and you know, walk in the middle of the night and talk about everything. And and uh, then got married young. Oh, I like that one. Yeah, this is a nice picture. I was so madly in love with her. Do you think that she loved you? I think she did as much as she can. Do you think that someone can love you and then try to put a hit out on you? Mm, maybe not. I was finding it hard to see why anyone would want Gabe dead, but the hacked messages revealed a possible motivation for the murder. This man mentally, physically, sexually and emotionally abused me. I ran and then he took my children away from me. He is quite the snake and master manipulator. The person who ordered this hit does accuse you of being abusive to her and and to the kids as well. Um, how, how does that make you feel? Well, she has to. I mean, what other defense does she have? She's got to save her own skin. You can't exactly look at her as the pillar of morality who's going to, you know, say the right thing, true or not. Uh, you just kind of have to throw that out the window and realize she's going to say the one thing she can. It was impossible to know if what Gabe said was true. Christy didn't respond to our request for an interview. By 2016, her and Gabe had grown apart and were discussing an amicable divorce. Then the hit was ordered. What goes through your mind when you are confronted with this sort of information? The part that bugs me and will always bug me, and, and this is where the line is, is it's not me, it's the kids. It's well, their parent, someone that they're going to lean on and get benefit from for the rest of their lives. So to say, this money is worth more to me 
than something that is so incredibly valuable to my kids. That's the line that shouldn't have been crossed. And that's the one I can't get over. That's completely understandable. From reading, and I've read everything, everything that's written, everything. There's talk about getting a sniper on your driveway. The sniper can find a good position where he can wait all night with food and drink next to him. It's really easy to wait on the other side of the hill and keep track of what's going here and follow somebody up. The driveway hit didn't happen. Neither did several other planned shootings, outside his work, outside Starbucks. The user alleged to be Christy got suspicious and requested evidence from Jura that the hitman was genuinely in Gabe's neighborhood and ready to strike. OK, so can you have one of your gang members take a picture of a street sign that I specify so I can see you guys are really real before I add more funds to the wallet? And then they're like, sure, tell us the address. Address for a gas station at the intersection. I want a picture of the Cornwallis street sign showing the intersection. The very small portion of a finger showing on the right-hand side. This is what Yura sent, the proof that the hitmen were in the neighborhood. Now, that's Photoshop, as you can tell. <laughs> yeah, it is. They street Google viewed Street View it. it. Before we go any further, there's something that I think you need to know. The Hitman sites are a scam. When the hack first became public, it became very clear that Euro was, in fact, a prolific online scammer, stringing people along, making excuses, while they exchanged Bitcoin for services not rendered. And Yura, he'd make excuses. The, the hitmen got lost. lost. They, they got, got caught in traffic. They, they were pulled were over by the police. police. And then he would upsell and upsell more elaborate means of getting to the target. Maybe, Maybe you need a sniper. Panics for Bitcoin. I've got, got a Chechen commando, commando just, just for you. For you. 35 extra Bitcoin. But the hitmen were never real. And this is how it would go. Upsell a new method, exchange more Bitcoin. Until they ran out of money or they cottoned on. Law enforcement agencies were sent details from the hack, which led to arrests around the world for plotting to kill. In California, Bo Brigham for a hit on his stepmom. In Illinois, Tina Jones for a hit on her lover's wife. In Tennessee, Brandon States for a hit on the mother of his unborn baby. And in North Carolina, Christy Falcons for a hit out on Gabe. The level of intent here, regardless of whether or not the hitmen got caught in traffic, or if they exist, or if they don't exist, this is a real crime. I mean, have hitmen existed through history? Have these things actually come to fruition? Yes, and it is real to these people. They, they don't know they're being scammed, so the intent is still there. That's all that matters.